So when we were researching, obviously we find all these interviews with you putting on an Australian accent, yeah, yeah. making noises, just doing one word answers yeah, yeah, and yeah, grunts yeah. and things. Yeah, and I'm yeah. thinking, I'm five, Ronnie doesn't do that for me. No. Tell us about those sort of random interviews I'm that you clearly weren't asked. I'm actually really good. You know, when I'm talking to people, I really like to, I like to give value. So yeah, when I'm this, snooker, is, this is great, when by I give, the way. When I go snooker, I'm not sitting there thinking, oh, I just want to get this done, does and get out there. I'm thinking, it's so important to me that every person that's come here to watch goes away thinking, that was magic. Yeah. You know, that's, that's what I'm here to do is provide, you know, I might be a bit quiet when I do my action. I'm not like Dennis Taylor giving loads of gags, but what I am going to do is I'm going to put on a performance where you go, I've played this game. Fucking hell, that's unbelievable. And, he, and they're nudging their mate, oh, yeah. you see? And, I, uh, and that's what I get joy out of. So I like to give like value. Even in my interviews, I'm like, you know what? I can sit here and be a bit cagey, but I'm not a cagey person. So I like to be open. But with that openness, one day I'm going to feel like shit. And that openness is going to sound really shit. And I'm going to say stuff that people are going to go, why does he say that? But I just think you can't have the good without having the bad. You can have the robot. The robot's never going to put a foot wrong. Mm. You can have the Australian. He's going to be so upbeat, <laughs> right? Because Australians are upbeat. You can have the scarcer, because they're really funny and they can make... But I'm like me, and, I, and, and, and when I talk like me, I can be very positive, very upbeat, but I can be very down on myself as well. And what I really struggled with was, uh, was at the snooker was is that I would do like something and I'd get a letter or an email every week. You've done this. And they'd use certain words which were quite threatening. And I'd take it quite personally. I'd think, you know what, I've, I've been a naughty boy here. And then in the end, I started to get, I, I started to monitor my own behaviour. And I thought, I'm not really doing a lot wrong. I'm just saying how I feel. And if saying what I feel is really bad, then maybe I shouldn't play snooker no more. But I love snooker. And my mates see that, and I said, I keep getting these letters through and on all that sort of stuff. And then in the end, I went, I'm going to be Australian because they don't like me being me. So I might as well try and be somebody else that's really positive because they want someone that's positive. So I'll go Australian. So I was Australian, mate. We're up, we're up for this today, mate. We're going we're gonna to smash the English, mate. They're going, they're going down. So I can't, kind of found, when I went into that mode, I was super positive. So I thought, there's nothing they can do with that because I'm positive. Um, the robot, you can't, you know, we're, we're living in a world of technology, AI, everything, we're <laughs> going to be controlled by robots at some day, you know, that, that person that's at the checkout, she don't realise that a robot's going to be doing it. So we're, we're all good with robots, we want, we want a robotic society. So I was like, yep, yeah, no, I'm here to play snooker and it's very good. So you can't put a foot wrong when you talk like that. So I thought, they want a robot, they can have a robot. They want positive, they can have Australian. <laughs> I'll go anywhere they want to go with it, but they don't want Ronnie. They don't I want just, Ronnie. If I was the interviewer, I'd just... They don't want Ronnie, so whatever we give them has not got to be Ronnie. I can go Thai, I can go Chinese, I can do, I can do any. I, can go, well, I can't really speak Spanish, but I could learn. But I just kind of just thought, you know what? So, so I had to kind of like put on these different sort of things, and, 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 it, and, it, and it worked, really. And then it got to the point where my mate was going, what, what's going on? And I told him, I said, look, I've got these... Drive me mad at World Snooker. I said, don't stop sending me letters and emails. I said, I ain't got time to reply to them. I said, because I just want to play Snooker. He went, get me your contract. I went, what do you mean? He went, I'm going to give it to my mate, he's a lawyer. He said, we're going to check it out. He said, next time you get a letter, give it to me. So I went, all right. So I got him on my contracts and they looked at it and they went, da 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 da. So I'll get a letter from World Snooker. Da 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 da. So I went, here, here's the letter. I said, they've sent me one. So he said, all right, we're going to send one back. Anyway, it was like chapter and verse out of the Bible, like the one they sent back. We point you to this and that and that and the history of that thing and all that. And I read it, I went, wow. I said, that's a beauty. <laughs> I, went, I, I got really excited. I thought, lovely, let's see what they say to that. Anyway, they get the letter and they send one back and they went, we are not going to respond to your letter because you obviously haven't got lawyer's advice. <laughs> I, didn't know that, I didn't know that that was... Uh, I didn't know that you had to get lawyer's advice if you'd sent a letter from a lawyer. But I thought, she's great, I'm <laughs> learning. I'm learning here, you know. So, so now they've kind of had to go and spend some money on good lawyers, because these are good lawyers. <laughs> anyway, it happened once or twice. Anyway, letters stopped. It was like, you know what? <laughs> it was too much hassle for them. <laughs> and I just realised that they, they were prepared to push me and push me because they knew that they could. But then once they realised that they had someone that was bigger and stronger than them, mm. 
they thought, you know what, we can't push these people around there because he's got his shit together, mate. He's got a proper little team on the <laughs> firm. <laughs> and now I don't get no letters. Actually, you know, it's, it's quite a pleasant world now, you know, but... And I was ready to turn away from snooker because I thought, I don't want to deal with this bullshit. Mm. Don't bring me bullshit, you know what I mean? Like, you, you know, one minute I'm good for the game, one minute I'm shit for the game. Like, make your fucking mind up. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? You can't have it both ways. <laughs> you know, but they want to whack you when they want to whack you and then they want to, like, nosh you off when they want to nosh you off. I don't like using that word, but you know what I mean? Let's have it right. I've it's actually like, never heard of that. You know, phrase. they want to get their tongue up your ass, basically, <laughs> and just fucking, you know, and you think, hold on a minute, just be consistent. Just be consistent with me. Yeah. And I just got fed up with all that that stuff. So um, anyway, the lawyers have been great and the lawyers are still there waiting just in case. <laughs> and it's fantastic. I feel like I've got right. angels on my yeah. shoulders. Just kind of so, so basically, I, I like it. Like I can go and cause, not cause trouble, but do what I want knowing that I've got a good team of people behind me to go, you know what, this isn't a problem. This is our game. So, you know, it's like, you, you know, you, you kind of have to, it's a bit of an unfair fight if Mike Tyson's going to fight me. You think, well, hold on a minute, he's a snooker player. You're, you're a professional boxer. It's not... So that's what they were doing to me. And that, now I've kind of got... I've got Klitsch going now. Or I've got Muhammad Ali fighting. You know, so it's yeah. a fair fight now. So they can send me as many letters as they like, but be prepared to get a few back. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and be prepared to go to your lawyer to get advice. Because some silly little letter that you think you're being clever with and using these little, like, threatening words ain't going to work. So I kind of like, that's what I'm saying, when you get a good team of people around, you start to realise, you know, you know, that, that, you know, don't, it's not, you know, I'm not, I'm not prepared to have people, you know, um, abuse their position, if you like, you know, um, and it's just about being professional, you know, and, and I'm, I'm, I'm really like playing the professional route now because I've got a team of people around me that are professional and, I, and, it, and it's like I'm very resourceful, whereas before I really, I wasn't, I was just on my own kind of quite insular and just play snooker. But now I'm resourceful. It's like, you know, whatever way they want to play it, I'm, I'm up for it, mate, you know. So it feels like I'm, I'm in a much better place to be able to, to deal with whatever, whatever comes my way, really. Mm. That would never work for me. If you enjoyed this, if you want more, make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel, turn on the notification bell, and remember, if you don't risk anything, you risk everything.